I've always been a stickler for like trying to stay in shape, keeping your body right. <laughs> My whole family's involved in bodybuilding, martial arts, running, biking, hiking. I guess you could start with my grandfather, who was a professional boxer. He was incredibly healthy. He passed that on his kids, my mother. That's where it started, and it just stayed with me through life. I pretty much lived this active life all the time, and now I have diabetes. What do I do? How did I feel? I won't say depressed, but I was kind of caught off guard, and they were like, you have diabetes too. I said, no, I don't. They said, yes, you do. I said, no, I don't. And and in my mind, it was a denial thing, but I was like, how do I get diabetes? I'm way too healthy. And he said, what do you eat? I eat what I, whatever I want, whether it's cake, cookies, pie, ice cream. Grandma Jones's homemade fudge is where it all began. <laughs> I'm stirring, she's pouring sugar. I'm stirring, she's pouring more sugar. I said, sugar's good, huh? So we're stirring and we finally made the fudge and we were eating chunks of fudge like this. Squares like they were brownies. I was hooked. <laughs> the sugar started taking its toll, shall we say. I think the exercise and the martial arts and all that stuff, I think that's part of what might have kept diabetes away from me for a long time was because I was so active. I went from doing what I wanted to do to doing what I needed to do. For a while, your goal weight was 200 pounds. That was where you wanted to be. Uh, what's your current weight? 204. I got four wow. more to go. so you're really close. Yeah, four more to go. I had to relearn pretty much how to eat again. No yeah. no Chinese how, food. How is life without chocolate cake? Actually, not too bad. Dr. Mursky has been in my corner from day one. He said, you need to talk to Anna. Anna is the coach, more or less. Oh boy, there she is. <laughs> Hi, Clyde. <laughs> Dropping that A1C significantly was such a great start. Yeah, that was a biggie. I was really surprised at that when I saw it. Since I've improved my diet, now my sugar levels are anywhere between 98 and 123, which is a significant drop all the way around. My eating has changed, but my mindset hasn't changed. I still look at everything the same, I've just eliminated the problem. Diabetes can lead to heart attacks, it can lead to a stroke, it can lead to it can lead to lots of unhealthy things that I don't have time for. I have grandkids, I've got my wife, I've got my dog, I've got my garden that I gotta plant my stuff. <laughs> I have to be here. I would like my grandkids to see me as not always right but always trying to do right if you eat right you're gonna feel better i just want them to understand that there are mistakes in life that you're gonna make don't let them keep you down always do what you have to do and if you get knocked down get back up if you get knocked down again you get back up again eventually you'll always stay on your feet diesel baby